I got my tickets, she got her tickets. So our numbers were fairly close, but you got to realize we had this long, long, yeah, <laughs> like a hundred and a hundred. Yeah, 135, I think, was how many I won. Yeah, yeah and, she got the big 50 at one point. <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, anyway, I was like, oh, that's you, Amanda. That's you. And she's looking, and she's looking, and she's looking, and she's looking. And the time's, the time's ticking. Yep, time's ticking away. You only have a certain amount of time. I'm like, no, Gypsy, I think, I think it's you. She's looking, and uh, uh, time ran out, and I was like, "Gypsy, this was your number," and I found it, and uh, yeah, it was it was for a, a gold nugget. <laughs> I missed out on a gold nugget because I was so excited that I just knew she had that winning number, and I just I wasn't looking at mine. I was busy helping her look through hers to find the winning number. Yep. Yeah. So I missed out on a gold nugget, but I still got a cool scoop. So yes, anyway, yeah, you lesson did. learned, lesson learned. <laughs> well, we also <laughs> realize after the fact, don't break them up into sections. Just have the the first number and the last number, and therefore you'll know it's somewhere in between. In between, um, right? Yep. But you live and yeah. you learn. That's something we absolutely did not know. <laughs> Um, but I did oh, get, Lord. yes, and I, um, so I did get to, to metal detect my very first night hunt, and um, I brought, I had packed with me in the suitcase the glowing glasses and all these, like, glowing glow sticks, so uh, Gypsy got all decked out, and I got decked out, and I had my <laughs> headlamp as well. But it was so we could see each other and <laughs> out in this and field. I've, and I've done night hunts before, and so I just thought it would be fun to follow her around and video her and watch her, talk to her while she did some night hunting for the first time. And uh, so I had on the, I was decked out in all these glow glasses and glow <laughs> gear, following her around. I got a little video footage. Um, but anyway, it was fun. I didn't know the tech because I've done it before. I'm not about to see the hunt. I'm, I, I'm a, you know, um, I wanted her to experience it because she had never done it, done that before. And it was fun watching her, you know, find the thing, you know, at night and us walk around with all the other people, you know. Yep. And then after, we kind of quit a little early because we needed to get on back, start packing, uh, get a shower in, uh, get to bed at a decent hour because we had to get up and catch a plane uh, and return the <laughs> yeah, him, The minivan, yeah. <laughs> Well, at the same time, too, you we we looked around while out in the field, and I'm like, I realized just how many kids were out there, and I'm like, yeah. oh, you know, I knew that there's tons of stuff, and they'd be having a blast, and there was still plenty for them to find, but basically dug in the pouch and started throwing things back as we walked back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then, um, Gypsy, and, uh, you went around after and gave all the glow sticks away. Yeah, I gave uh, a bunch of them away to some of the kids, and there even there was a few adults that got some. But uh, everybody loves the. I, mean, I enjoyed them. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> there's some there's some photos of us all decked out in our glowy. Yeah, but and somebody was wasn't I, somebody was Facebook Live with us at one point out there, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of our I can't recall who. Um, I couldn't see their face. <laughs> Mark, I think it was Mark. Um, he's actually one that I think I assigned one of his detectors. So there's maybe a photo. Oh, nice. I autographed one of his metal detectors. And I also got to meet Warren. Uh, he's the guy that was the winner. It was the first time I'd never met him. Winner of my raffle when I raffled off the Apex. Um, cam, uh, Jace Robertson camo edition and he was there as well 
and got to meet him and his wife. And uh, that was really cool as well. It's really cool to see the different people that, you know, that we interact with, but don't, you know, really yeah. always know can't, can't or put, have never met them. Yeah, never put a face with a name type of thing. But, you know, you see them online. You never actually get to, like, just sit and talk or, or stand and talk or, heck, detect and talk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But it was so fun, and we signed autograph cards and gave away a bunch of stickers. And Amanda had these really cool wooden lucky nickels uh, made up, printed up, that were really neat um, with the treasure vortex and uh, little lucky, um, what do you call it, clover on there yeah. uh, for good luck. And uh, and anyway, a couple, really, a, really, yeah, a couple lucky yeah. ducks in our chat are gonna benefit from from some of the things that we yeah. found, <laughs> and I, a couple we're extra. We're gonna go ahead and do a goodies. little giveaway tonight, and then after we finish that, um, I'll tell you all about my upcoming feed of hunt that I'm gonna be doing, and. Uh, giving y'all some more info on that I know it's long overdue but uh should we go ahead and do the raffle now Yep. So um, if you are in chat and want to take part, um, please just drop your name in chat so I can check you off and add a number to your name. I think I have everyone that was in chat, but I just want to add a number and make sure you're still in there. And then I'm going to go to random.org to pick it out. So we have um, three giveaways. We have an extra don't tread on me one ounce copper uh, round from the independently living bullion.com. We have a 1920 uh, Liberty Walker half. And then we have a uh, SLQ that will go with a Mercury dime. So let me actually SLQ and Merc. A copper round and a walker, and each of these will get a treasure vo uh, vo <laughs> treasure vortex uh, podcast wooden lucky nickel. Um, one of our new fandangles, we have Velcro patches with our logo on the front, Ooh. so you'll get. Yep, so you'll get each one of those, and if you give me a second, I'm going to go through and make sure I have everybody. So we have one, two, one, two, yeah, it really was a good time, and I, I do hope um, if you're in the area, you um, give it a go. Uh, next year because it just seems like every year it just gets bigger and better um, and you know with anything the more people there the more more people you can meet it's just a lot more fun so but six, seven, eight, eight. Uh, swamp fox and rob Oh, nope, not auctioning off the green towel. Though Gypsy did get a infamous green towel. Mm -hmm. I sure did. <clears throat> and again, we're going to, this is going to be three times. We're going to give do three giveaways. Again, one is a don't tread on me copper round, one ounce round. One is a 1920 um Walking Liberty half dollar, and one is a SLQ and a Merc, mm -hmm. and all of those will come with a Treasure Vortex podcast Lucky Wooden Nickel, as well as a Treasure Vortex podcast Velcro patch. That is a absolute mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if anybody's listening, just. Uh, 
come in and either drop your name or if I see you writing, if you don't want to be part of it, um, just, I guess don't say you don't want to be part. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Are you playing, Mark? Mr. 23? And yes, it's a giveaway. Sorry, I can't be in the chat with everybody tonight. Still on the road. I've got about another 25 minutes till I get home, though. I just made it. Uh, to the surrounding town. Now I'm just headed out to the country. All right. So you didn't. You did I not miss your exit. <laughs> I did not. I Perfect. even turned the GPS off. Uh, so it wouldn't go, even though I put it on silent. I guess I got any text or called to me. But anyway, um, I am headed out of town now, headed to the farm. All right, I'm going to bring up random.org. I've got every well did I get everybody number 10 11 12 all right so I'm going to start that up we have one two twelve all right ready drum roll please Number 11. Now, you did not drop your name, but you have been writing, so I entered you in. But Mr. Ed Conklin, you have won, Ooh, you have won the Do Not Tread on Me Copper Round. I probably should have said that to begin with, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, Ed, Copper Round. All right. Next, we will be doing the SLQ and Merck. And generate and number six. Um, the SLQ and Merck is Bill, Mr. O R H, Ohio Relic Hunter. Woo, Bill. Awesome. And Bill. And we're going to do 13. Going to change it up. And our last giveaway is for the 1920 Walker. So let me go back, flip back, generate number seven. Is Paul Force? Paul, congratulations. Ooh, awesome, Paul. Ed, congratulations. And Bill, congratulations. Um, I, if you can either message me. Um, your address or um, if you want to email tv.treasurevortex at gmail.com and I'll put it in chat and whoever owns treasurevortex at gmail.com may they forever get email from people trying to get a hold of us <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh all right, so awesome. I will get those in the mail. These patches really are cool. If you'd rather an iron-on instead of a Velcro, just let me know. We do have a couple of the iron-on patches left. Um, oh, yeah, we could, if you'd like that, ORH, I can do that. Oh, yes. I know, I think we were planning on sending stuff for that anyway barb is doing um donations again 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 for the kids christmas giveaway so um, Great. yeah probably be sending stuff to that and i will make a note of that as well barb i have to get a hold of her kids hunt our kids giveaway not hunt doop, doop, doop. okay all right so we talked about the hunt. Did we talk about how awesome the food was? They did all the cooking and all the meals were included oh as God. part of the ticket. I I would I turned to Gypsy. 
Yeah, I turned to Gypsy at one point, and I'm like, I have eat, I have had more like food 